Well, hello everyone. This is a reunion skate video of between Whirly Bird and myself, Ron Valent. We hadn't skated uh, together since uh, 1982. And uh, the reason why we're getting back together is an account of the passing of Kenny Chin, also known as Chai Pig, the frontman for the skate punk band SNFU. Uh, both Whirly and myself had uh, skated with Kenny quite a bit back then. That's how we're getting to know each other reacquainted by uh, discussing his passing and it's interesting when you're seeing old photos pop up and everything it's really quite exciting uh, the skating uh, is mainly of myself it's quite lame uh, I don't really skate that much this is my second time this year uh, forgive me on that but um, it's pretty cool at the end of the video there's some old skate photos as well as we discuss our uh, skateboard quiver so yeah uh, enjoy Practice. I got my board backwards and everything. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, get, yeah, you, you ride switch. <laughs> it was a whole switch run. AC DC, eh? Yeah. You're not shooting right now, are you? Sure. I'll just let it roll. gonna carve right around here. Okay. <laughs> Man, hipper. No, I was actually on my bump. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So all's good. Oh. Rolling through. We're out here with Ron Valent. Oh. We haven't skated for the last, he says 40. 40 years. I say 30, but he says 40. No, I'd be like yeah, uh, 40. 20 to, you know, so we're 80s. We're talking 80s. Yeah, at the. 1982, so 38. Okay, yeah. And at the High Roller Skate Park, beautiful park back in the day, half a million dollar park, all made of wood. Here is a picture of the High Roller Skate Park. Uh, it was around 1979. And this picture here actually made it into the Edmonton Journal. Uh, you see Kenny Chin actually uh, skating the, the pipe itself. But to identify the people on the picture there, if you work from the left to the right, uh, sitting down is myself. Uh, next to me is Lego, as we call them, or Kelly Ross. Uh, then we have Al Zeeper. And giving directions of some sort is Mark Pellegrini there, it looks like. Uh, then you have uh, Brent, his brother. Uh, there's a mystery kid there. He was uh, skating quite a bit, but we never really got to know him very much. And then Danny Chin at the very end. That's uh, Kenny's younger brother. And uh, then, of course, you have Kenny Chin there uh, doing his uh, spotlight skate event there for the Edmonton Journal. And uh, that went out well. Uh, the next picture here, we have uh, Danny Chin doing some kind of, uh, looks like he's about to do a backside air off the, the you know major ramp they had. That was about a 12 foot high ramp with four feet of vert, so it was pretty intense. Uh, there you have uh, Kenny just finishing a front side grind and that's pretty much exactly his style and, and how we saw him back then. And the last photo is something that uh, came about. Uh, uh, Mark Pellegrini, was, I was talking to him after not having a discussion with him in 38 years and during that conversation he says hey I got a picture of you I sent and he sent it and I just laughed and laughed <laughs> I'm so happy that he got it amazing yeah so that was the high roller skate park spent some time there for sure anyways we're out here because of Kenny Chin 
Kenny Chin, that's yeah. right. Kenny Chin, he passed yeah. away and then all us old skateboarders got back together and we're get, reconnecting and seeing all the old cool photographs. Doing a board tour here. Ron will give you a tour. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. This is uh, my uh, competition deck that I would go on flatland freestyle. See all the holes? Because <laughs> it was a bigger deck and I cut it down. It, it was a Sims, uh, whatever it was. And then these were UFOs. They're really, they were wide. I froze them, put them in the deep freeze, and I put them on my dad's lathe, and then I shaved them down. I could barely do it. It bounced with the knife. <laughs> <laughs> froze them? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. unique. And I routered it down, because I used to make my own decks back then. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh. Uh, that's sweet. Rodney Mullen Uber. Whoa. Ooh. Nice uh, deck. Kevin Roebuck. There Kevin you go, Roebuck. buddy. What? Yeah. Still have it. Bought it off Kevin Roebuck, and then these are trucks from probably 1979 and then that's a candy chin thing they drill they would start drilling holes we did it all and we fill it with uh, flint and then we would grind and then we would get sparks off a lake eaten bowl <laughs> wow so I put it on this deck uh, loaded fat tail probably one of my favorite skateboards of all time beauty with orangutans they oh. made those orangutans for a short period of time Oh yeah, because uh, yeah. now there's they were blowing out on them or something. So then they stopped, and I think they just got it all right. They got and then the these solid are the, ones. Yeah, uh, I think they're called Avenue trucks. I think yeah, and they got a suspension on there. So there's a quarter inch of no well, three sixteen suspension. You know, if you go over bumps. Oh, beautiful, smooth ride. And that's can, what you want. I can pump all day on this thing. Ah, oh, that's a sweet board. And then a uh, flight deck. Oh yeah. And uh, these are trucks from about 1980, Indies. Indy Stage, uh, I have no idea what they are. Stage twos perhaps. And uh, these are uh, uh, Richt uh, Clouds, soft wheels, you can't slide with them, but they're nice and cushy. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> but they're still fast, right? Have to get, have to get a yeah. set of those. Now it's on to your stuff. Okay. So what do we got here? We got the Eddie Algera from one of the first radical skaters from back in the 70s and what I got my wheels? rat bones uh, gull softer. wings, gull wings, gull wings. The, uh, made yeah. by Hosoi nice condition now I have no idea who would ride uh, this board or who made it or anything uh, you know Anderson would get some guy <laughs> Andy <But> Anderson <laughs> <laughs> one of the best skaters in Canada yeah. Oh, epic. Anyways, that's that's the new classic board. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And then the old classic board, the oh, Alba. This is a except, monster. This thing. This thing is the. Uh, this is my big. Oh, look at the big bowl. Yeah. Are these from what nineties or what? No, they're reissues. Are they? Yeah, but I I do have some originals, but I'll have to set them up some other point. Hey. This. I remember seeing this. You know, like. Remember Tony Alba. <laughs> Doing the first uh, front side air like this? Oh, yeah, yeah. That just blew us away. Oh, it did. That's what stoked me all these years. I still haven't done one. And then we got... <laughs> what is this thing? Oh, this is the Whirly Bird. The Whirly Bird. Made by myself. It's extra big, extra long because, well, because I'm extra big and extra long. <laughs> <laughs> oh, five million. Five million. Yeah, he set the price a little high, a little steep, but yeah, it's yeah. good. Looks so, cool. anyways, the, that's the tour. The Lacombe Ball. Out at Lacombe here. Beautiful day out. Oh. Awesome. <laughs>